Summary of Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi The story of Persepolis starts right after the Iranian Revolution of 1979, which brings down the Shah of Iran, an oppressive tyrant supported by the United States, and makes way for the rise of religious extremists who create the Islamic Republic. Marjane Satrapi talks about how she used to go to a French school that was both secular and religious, but now that the Islamic Republic doesn't trust Western ideas, this is illegal. Also, all girls and women are required to wear covers by the government. Marjane's parents, on the other hand, are modern and don't believe in any gods. They backed the revolution against the Shah because he was a cruel leader, but they are worried and upset about how fundamentalist the new Islamic Republic has become. Marjane has to grow up quickly, so she starts to learn about Iran's past and the many invaders and rulers it has had over the centuries. Under the Shah's rules, her grandpa was a Persian prince who was jailed and abused a lot. She also learns that there are different social groups and that this is one reason why there is a lot of pain and tension in the country. Many political prisoners are freed after the revolution is over and the Shah is removed from power. Siamak and Mohsen, two revolutionaries who had been in jail for years, are among them. They talk about the torture they went through and the deaths they saw. Marjane is still upset that her own father is not a hero and that no one else in her family is either, even though she sees these two men as heroes. Though, she is thrilled to meet her uncle Anush, who ran away from Iran to the USSR to avoid being caught for working against the Shah. When he got back to Iran, though, his cover wasn't good enough to keep him out of jail, where he was treated very badly. They give her a bread swan that he made while he was in jail because she thinks he is a hero. Soon after, though, the country became more radicalized under the strict government. This meant that the former political prisoners who were freed became targets again, and Mohsen was killed while Siamak managed to get out of the country. Anush is caught, and Marjane only gets to see him once before he is put to death. At this point, Marjane turns away from God. Marjane's family and friends leave the country, but the Satrapis choose to stay because they can make more money there. Soon after, men start to bother Marjane's mother because she isn't wearing her veil. Marjane, her family, and her friends then go on their last protest against the veil, which turns very violent. The Iraq-Iran war starts soon after. At this point in the war, Marjane is very patriotic because she really wants Iran to beat its enemy. But as the war goes on, she starts to understand the price of war, heroism, and so-called martyrdom, which is something the government regime values, when her friend Paradis' father dies while bombing Baghdad. A lot of people from southern Iran are forced to leave their homes and move to Tehran because of the new war. A lot of young boys also join the army. They are given plastic keys that have been painted gold to represent how easy it is to get into heaven after dying for your country. This disgusting lie is only told to poor people, which makes Marjane and her family think it is even worse. During the war, the country's police are stricter with its citizens, and the Satrapi's stock of wine is almost discovered because people are still having parties to try to keep things normal. There are two women in the Guardians of the Revolution who almost arrest Marjane when her parents bring back pictures and sneakers from Turkey that are from the West for her. The Iraqis are now firing very damaging ballistic missiles at Tehran. One day, the home of the Satrapi's Jewish neighbors is destroyed, though Marjane at first thought her own house had been hit. Even so, Marjane is horrified when she finds her friend Nada's cut arm under the rubble of her house. Marjane is already very wild, but she gets even more so. She gets so brave that she slaps her school's director, and she is immediately kicked out. She says what she thinks even at her new school, and Marjane's family believes it is best and safest for her to finish her education in a country where she has more freedom. Marjane leaves her family with tears in her eyes and heads to Vienna, Austria, to start a new life. About the author Marjane was born in Rasht, Iran, and attended French language schools in Tehran as a child. Her family was very well educated and up to date which made things hard for them when the revolution that got rid of the American-backed Shah of Iran led to the creation of a strict and traditional Islamic Republic. 
As a teen, Marjane's family sent her to a French school in Vienna in 1984. When Marjane went back to Iran after the Iran-Iraq War finished, she went to the School of Fine Arts at Tehran Islamic Azad University to get her master's degree. She did this until 1994. During this time, she got married, but the marriage didn't last long, within three years, they were divorced. After she graduated, Marjane worked for a short time as an artist for an economics magazine. After that, Marjane went back to Europe and went to school in Strasbourg to study decorative arts. In 2000, she released all four volumes of Persepolis in French. In 2003 and 2004, two volumes were translated into English. Satrapi is married to Swedish citizen Matthias Rippa. They live in Paris. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.